Hey guys, hopefully that scene didn't scare you off too much, but I'm Sydney. And I'm Karen. And today we're going to talk about the game Five Nights at Freddy's. Before we go any further, Five Nights at Freddy's is a horror mystery game that was released in 2014. This mystery game will literally have you screaming out of your seat. Yeah, Karen, I definitely remember the time when you were screaming and almost jumped out of your seat. People were not supposed to know about that. So Five Nights at Freddy's was a top selling game on Desura in 2014. And this even led to the second, third, fourth, and even fifth installment of the series. So in this game, you're basically a night guard whose shift starts at 12 a.m. and ends at 6 in the morning, which is approximately about eight and a half minutes in real time. So this uh, pizzeria is home to multiple animatronics, such as Freddy the Bear, Bonnie the Bunny, my bad, Chica the Chicken, and Foxy the Fox. And the security guard who worked before you will call you and tell you everything you need to know before you start the game. of Jurassic Park coming to life. So as the security guard described in his initial conversation with you, he basically says that if these animals see you, they will think that you are a mechanical endoskeleton without its costume on, and they will forcefully try to put you in Freddy the Bear's costume. So this basically equals death, and you essentially fail the level. To avoid this, you must check the cameras and turn on the lights to see if the animals are closing in on you. If the animals are in either of the hallways beside you, you must close the door to keep them from out of the office. At the beginning of each level, you have 100% battery power. But as you use the cameras, doors, and lights, your battery power will eventually deplete. And if it is depleted before 6 a.m., you lose the level and Freddy the Bear will come and attack you. But if you still have battery left, you can move on through the night and move on to the next level. This game creates unparalleled suspense. Even though there are no music, random noises may scare you. And this game uses still pictures, which creates uneasiness and hysteria. So how about we dive into this a little bit deeper? Absolutely. Okay, so we train animals to occupy certain roles, just like how in games we program animals to behave in the certain roles that we have placed upon them. This game reveals that when animals act out of these given roles, it scares us because it shows that we do not have much, that much control over them as we think we do. So what is enticing about these animals is the thrill these animals provide. This game personifies them. As they walk on two legs and are dressed in human clothing, this seems to enhance the frightening aspects as it introduces a sense of familiarity to the audience, human characteristics. What makes it more frightening on one hand is that while playing this game, you realize that the actions of the animatronics are very similar to something that humans would do. On the other hand, it re-emphasizes the notion that animals are acting out of the roles that we put them in. It is interesting how we as a Western society look down upon systematic oppression like a dictatorship. However, we tend to do just that over the animal other. We use animals for our pure enjoyment, but why don't we stop? In the game, happy music is played sometimes. This relates to how the media deludes to unethicality of animal manipulation in video games and in life through the usage of advanced and flashy technology to entice us. 
However, as time dwindles, so does the power and metaphorically the amount of control that we can exert. So the question becomes, if man cannot exert absolute control in the beauty game of their own creation, can man truly tame every aspect of nature, especially the things that are unknown to us? Hmm, good question. I mean, what if the situation was reversed? We humans are placing animals into this fantasized roles of subordinates. What if the animals are the ones in control? The idea is suddenly not so thrilling. The animatronics' movements and actions which are unknown are horrifying and scary to us because we are not in control of their actions. The idea of being apart from our body and forced into an unfamiliar role is not so exciting. We are seen as outside of our natural domain and feel the need to be put back into our proper place. Imagine we humans placed in a contained entity that does what the animals want. I mean, it now looks like the animals reign dominion over us and we're the targets. Remember that when animals fall outside of their given roles, we humans start to worry. All of our lives, we are taught to think how animals are supposed to behave. But Five Nights at Freddy's reminds us that this is not so evident. When animals defy our flawed thinking, we become fearful and confused. We may not have control over everything as we often think. Okay, so thank you for watching our take on the game Five Nights at Freddy's. Please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos.